Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-information.com. Today in this video, we will be talking about how you can retry your test in Playwright. Okay, as the name suggests, retry, it means it will try to run your test again if the test fails. Now, generally, uh, what happens the moment you start running your test suite, let's say you have 100 tests. Okay, when you started development, okay, or when you develop the script, it is all working fine, all the 100 tests were passing. But now when you execute maybe next day or maybe after release you need to test uh, out of 100 10 test cases got failed and again these tests are not failing because of a scripting issue sometimes it could be the network issue sometimes it could be the temporary issues and you want to give a retry once again the moment you retry the test case passed okay so with the help of retry you can avoid all of this okay so generally what happens we have to run these test cases again right manually but Playwright gives you this feature where you don't have to do it again like manually. You can just mention a small flag or I will show you one small configuration changes that you need to make. Playwright will automatically retry your failed test cases. Okay, and how it works, we'll discuss now one by one. But retrying is one of the most important part because many times, because let's say the network is slow or maybe the application is temporarily not available. But within uh, you know seconds if it is getting fixed retry will run your test cases and it will pass because not every time your script will fail because of the application issue sometimes it could be xyz reasons as well right so let's see how we can do the retry scenarios or how to run the same test again with the help of retry feature in playwright very easy not not even a single line of code you just need to make a small configuration changes and we are good to go so if you go to playwright.config.js file, so this is the configuration file that we have, right? If you just come down here, you will find one separate property called retries. Right now it is for the CI only, but we will try to run right now this retry scenario on the local system. Then second way I will show you how you can pass this retries via CLI. So this part I will comment as of now and let me just copy this or maybe I can directly write here just write a retries okay then colon let me give retry 2 and put comma again now when I say retries 2 it means first it will run my test if it is getting failed it will give one retry if this is also getting failed it will give one more retry if this is also failed it means the final test has been failed for example you have executed your test and you have given total retry count is 2 so if it is success no need to do the retry because it's already passed let's say one more scenario you have again a test this time it got failed because of some issues so retry 1 will get activated it will try to run your script again this is retry count 1 if it is getting success let's say this got passed it will not give the second retry and it will go to the next test let's say one more scenario this is your test got failed it will give a retry count one if it is also getting failed it will give one more retry which is retry two if this is success it will continue but let's say one more scenario script is working fine uh, sorry script got failed give a retry again if it failed again I'll give one more retry so total three one is the original two is the retry count if this is all getting failed it will fail and continue so this case is happy scenario nothing is getting failed this one if the test is getting success in the first retry or the second retry the test will be marked as a flaky test if it is all in one go it is all getting pass pass if it's getting failed failed but if the test is getting failed at once but in the retry if it is getting success it will mark your test as flaky test remember this category in playwright now how we can do this so right now whatever test i have all are passing so in order to show you this part i will go to this one of the scenario which we have discussed earlier so if you haven't watched that video i would highly recommend to watch that video because in that video we discussed how we can uh, perform the login logout how we can verify whether login is success or not logout is success or not so right now everything is fine here uh, so if I run this uh, let me run in from the terminal or I can directly click on this 
uh, if I go to testing I can simply select its specific file and can run this we haven't discussed as of now in the next video I will show you how you can install this plugin and, and then you will get this option in case if you're not getting this option no worry go to the terminal right now you can see it's having like right now it's already focusing on the same folder I will write npx play write test this test that I am going to talk about login.spec.js it's available in say tests folder right so I will say go to tests folder then here the script is login.spec.js and execute okay. right now it's running in headless mode so you're not able to see the execution what I will do okay let it run it got passed but I want to show you in a headed mode so hyphen hyphen headed now the moment I run you can see the chromium is getting started and it will enter username password and it will click on that picture then it did the logout button and it's working now just to show you this retry I will make a mistake here this mistake maybe I will enter the wrong password which is idle is one two three I will make it one two three four and it should fail and the moment it will fail now it will give two retry let's see make sure you save this file because many times when you don't save this file the changes will not be reflected and you will not be able to see so let it run and you can see it failed like it's, it will fa uh, fail within a minute it will now it, you can see it's giving a retry one again it will try to perform login this time obviously it will fail because we are not making any changes but let's say in case if your test is getting success in the second retry or the first retry you will get to know right now it will fail even after giving the retry so total three execution one was the original two was the retry one and yeah same thing now this is showing the test has been failed because we were expecting dashboard after login because the moment you have successful login you will see dashboard admin pim tab right now it is not able to login so our assertion failed if I show you our assertion we have mentioned that after clicking on submit button if everything goes fine user should be able to see that dash dashboard which is not coming obviously and this is the screenshot this is fine now you will see a new tab called retry 1 retry 2 if test is getting success in retry 1 it will not go to the retry 2 then you will see a new category called flaky test right now it's only showing you the field but if it is getting passed in the second or first retry the test will be marked in the flaky category so this is the first option where you can go to the configuration file make the changes and come back second approach let's say I don't want to make the changes here okay if I run it now again I can also mention here hyphen hyphen retries so you can see this is exactly same flag I will pass which is a retries this time I will make it three just to make sure that we are getting these updated values so it will try to run it again yes see by default it waits 5000 millisecond which is 5 second you can see now it's retrying one and I have given some delay while typing so that's the reason it's typing slow but if you don't have delay it will be too fast just to present that how a user will type I have given a delay but if you don't want to give delay it will be too quick Yeah, expect will wait and one more retry so total four one was the main execution total three more retries total count is four uh, just a second yes so this time retry one two three and all are getting failed correct now if you come back here and notice it is 
waiting maximum 5000 millisecond why because if we come back to our configuration file which is playwright.config.js if you come here what is the timeout for expect it's 5000 millisecond which is 5 second in case if you want to customize you can make it less or more it's totally up to you there's one more way to provide the retry part and let me make it three now and let me run it this time no retry because the test will pass and it will continue as it is so this time done login logout board done and yeah no need of retry so one is the configuration file second while running from cli you can make it third option whenever you have a group of test cases right now whatever we discuss we are writing individual tests right we are not creating grouping so once we'll talk about the grouping again for the group also you can give a specific retry for example if you have this is your one spec file this is another spec file this is another spec file here you have a group of five test group of 10 test group of 15 test so maybe let's say for these 15 tests you want to apply retry 2 for this retry 1 for this retry 5 that is also possible so once we talk about the grouping part we'll come back to this topic again and we'll see how we can apply retry for a specific group of test yeah so very interesting no need to write any code just make a small configuration changes or while uh, running from terminal or from cli you can pass this hyphen hyphen retries equal to number of retries and if while doing the retry the test is getting passed it will be marked as a flaky so you will easily get to know that these are the tests which are flaky and you can fix them accordingly yeah that's all about this video so in case if you find this video interesting useful helpful then please do share with your friends and colleagues let me know if you have any other questions related to this topic or any other topic and i will try my best to cover in the next video till then bye bye take care and see you in the next video